Cost allocation tags are very important. They add one more dimension in your cost analysis on AWS, and they allow you to dice and slice your reports in the Cost Explorer based on your particular use cases and workloads. But before you even start with cost allocation tags, you need to have some tags. So it's really critical that you tag all of your AWS resources properly and consistently. And the easiest way to do it with Terraform, as you'll see here, is to use default tags attribute on providers. Basically, when you set the default tags on the provider, Terraform will add these tags to all of the resources that support tagging. That's, of course, not enough, and you still need to tag individual resources with some extra tags, but that's a good baseline that at least all of your resources within particular code repository have the same tagging convention. I like to start small, especially if you're a small company, you don't need a too sophisticated tagging concept, and you basically can get away with only three tags, environment, workload, and name. I don't set name here because name is something that you really set per resource or per smaller group of resources, but environment is something that is kind of global, so it's maybe like dev, stage, production, int, etc. And workload is, for example, your application. So in this case, because I'm inside the code repository for Terraform resources of MKDEV application itself, workload would be MKDEV. So then it should be really easy for me to find all resources that belong to MKDEV application. And then knowing these tags, I just set default tags for all the providers that I have here. I have three because I, we are using CloudFront. CloudFront is always in US East 1 and the rest of our resources are in EU Central 1. So now let's see what happens when I run Terraform plan. And what happens is that it will add workload tag to resources that don't have workload tag yet, and it will add environment tag to resources that don't have it yet as well. Some of the resources I have uh, already have the the environment tag, so Terraform will not retag it with environment once again. Once I apply this code, I can go to AWS console to billing and cost management, cost allocation tax section, and that's the critical part because just having tags does not let you use these tags inside Cost Explorer. You actually need to go here to to the console, find your user-defined cost allocation tags in the list and activate them. So for example, I have a tag environment and I want to use environment tag for my cost analysis. So I just click environment checkbox here and I click activate and I confirm. And now I'll, I'm able to use this tag inside Cost Explorer. Now important to note is that I can only use these tags for costs incurred from this moment. So it does not apply to all the historical data. Uh, all the costs till today will not have this cost allocation tax available for filtering. So that's why it's important from the very start to have a proper tagging convention for resources and also to activate the most important tags uh, in cost allocation tax for analysis. As I said, uh, this is a very basic tagging system. Uh, it's only three tags, environment, workload, and name. If you have a couple of applications and maybe just three, five AWS accounts, uh, like one per environment, that's probably enough for cost analysis. If you're a big enterprise, of course, things are way more complicated because you have like a different finance team, you have a different security team, you have many, many different teams, lots of stakeholders, you have budgets. And in this situation, you need, of course, a way more sophisticated cost allocation tax, which is hard to cover here because it differs organization to organization. And if you are in the situation where you have lots of lots of AWS accounts, teams, applications, stakeholders, uh, finance processes, then please reach out to MKDEV because we can do a cost audit for you, analyze your infrastructure, and then also define for you proper tagging concept and pick the right tags for your cost analysis and cost reports. That's it for this video. Check out our website in the description below to learn more about our cost audit infrastructure audit services that we offer for AWS, but also for GCP and other clouds, as well as for Kubernetes. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the like button. Thanks for watching. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? 
we know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.